Edgar Wisenhunt, 88 Reasons Why the Rapture Will Be in 1988. He missed it, and then what these folks do, it what makes it even worse, they come out that, well, we missed it by a few, it's gonna be 1989. 89 reasons why it'll be in 1980. This is what they do, and they put, throw egg on the face of all of us, and I go back to that article by Tom Hughes, it's why some don't want to align themselves, pastors and leaders, because they might be identified with the date setter. And again, Harold Camping, Judgment Day, he said May 21st, 2011, didn't happen. And he said, well, I calculated wrong, it's gonna be October 2011. Of course, it didn't happen. In 1835, during a casual conversation with God, Mormonism founder Joseph Smith learned that Jesus would return within the next 56 years. Joseph Smith was called a prophet, dum 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 dum. At which point the end times would begin. Seeing as this meant more war and natural disasters like earthquakes, hurricanes, and tornadoes, people were worried. Luckily for all of us today, the world didn't end in 1891, at least not that we know of. Over the years, there's been a lot of debate as to whether this statement of Smith's should count as an actual prophecy or not. But don't feel bad for Joseph Smith. He went on to have many, many more prophecies. Number eight, Advent, also known as the Great Disappointment. After extensively studying the Old Testament, Baptist minister William Miller determined that Christ would return to earth sometime between March of 1843 and March of 1844. William Miller, it turns out, was a very persuasive man and managed to convince over 50,000 people to believe him. Many of his followers sold their possessions in preparation for the upcoming end of the world. Hopefully these Millerites kept their receipts because the world did not end between those dates. Miller later claimed he'd made a simple math error and recalculated the date to be in April and then in October of 1844. When the world kept on trucking, Miller acknowledged his disappointment and resigned himself to seclusion, but was still convinced that Jesus' return was just around the corner. God, I've looked forward to this moment more than the second coming of Jesus. Am I therefore become your enemy? because I tell you the truth. <laughs>